just what you've been dreaming of and you will find that it's just what you've been dreaming of and you will find that it's just what you've been dreaming of Hey guys, it's me Luke and welcome to the first episode in a new series I'm starting on my channel called Talk and Tea where we discuss stuff going on in my life, stuff going on in your life and stuff going on in the world. If you have any topics that you want me to talk about in Talk and Tea, then let me know. I just thought this would be a really fun idea because I love talking and I love tea, so why not combine it in one video? I mean, yes, it is like always 30 degrees plus here in Queensland, Australia, but you know, you gotta do it for the aesthetics, so. Anyway guys, in today's topic we are talking about New Year's resolutions. I thought that I would talk about New Year's resolutions because it is the new year and a lot of people just aren't setting New Year's resolutions because they feel like they're going to fail. I think that's a really bad idea. New Year's resolutions are about self-growth and self-improvement and that is really 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 important and I think the problem with New Year's resolutions and why people keep failing is because they keep setting them up like their goals. I spoke about this in my six things to do in the new year if you want to check that video out link down below. Shameless plug, I know. So I'm going to talk to you guys about my New Year's resolutions today. I have six of them so that you can kind of hear what a New Year's resolution kind of should sound like and in case you're curious you just want to hear what my New Year's resolutions are or if you want some ideas then keep watching episode one of Talking Tea. Ah, that's hot. So before I get into my resolutions, I want to kind of reflect on 2017 very briefly. At the end of every single year, I sum up the year in one word that describes how I was that year. And 2017, I was resilient. I honestly went through so much in 2017. Family kind of broke down. I had to move out of home when I was like halfway through grade 12 and just a lot happened to me in 2017 and while I'm glad it's over I also kind of am grateful for everything that happened to me even though it was awful because I feel like I've grown so much because of it and I was so resilient throughout all of it so I am proud of myself for that. Comment down below how you were in 2017 or if you can sum up 2017 in one word. Without further ado let's get on into my New Year's resolution. New Year's resolution number one is a really big one to me it is kind of the main focus for this year for me and that is to pursue my passions which is acting, YouTube and photography. I love all three of these things so much. Sorry, I'm just putting down my tea. A priority for the year will be acting because I have always loved acting. It's always been the thing that stuck with me and it's the only thing that truly permanently makes me happy. Like I'm never sad when I'm acting because you know I'm not myself and I can escape and explore all of these different emotions and I just, I think acting is such a beautiful art form and it just, Oh, like thinking about it makes me so happy and I'm so passionate about it and I spent forever just like no I, I can't pursue acting like that's not realistic I'm not gonna make any money and constantly people were telling me you shouldn't do that you're such a smart kid you know become a lawyer become a doctor do all of this and I kind of just had a realization when I graduated like stuff this like life is too short to be doing something that you're not happy with like I don't care about the money I just want to be happy I can't believe I'm coming to this realization because if you told me this 12 months I would have been like what I think this year is the perfect time to pursue acting because I'm actually taking a gap year, which by the way, I'll be making a video about. I think this year I'll be able to get a lot of acting stuff done and I'm going to be doing a lot of auditions this year and a lot of acting classes and you know, you're getting my headshots and all that type of stuff. I'm going to strive for your art and that's what I'm going to do. I also want to be really more focused on YouTube and making videos. Filmmaking is kind of a new passion of mine. I really enjoy filming stuff. I have a couple stuff that I've filmed and not posted to YouTube just because I kind of want to work on my craft and get better at it. But making YouTube videos is really fun for me. I want to be making short films and stuff like that. And it's just a new fun thing that really brings me so much joy when I get to sit down at my desk and edit a video and watch the end result. It brings me so much happiness. So definitely want to pursue YouTube. I want to be trying to post twice a week. I feel like I can and I feel like that's a good amount. What do you guys think? I will also be pursuing my photography. I just bought my new Canon DSLR, so I want to be taking much more photos. Photography is something that I've always loved. I've always been taking photos of stuff on my phone. Oh, when I was a kid, I would just take my mom or my grand's camera and take photos of people when they weren't looking. And I just have always loved photography. You know, just go look at my Instagram and scroll down. I've always been taking kind of weird shots that most people my age didn't take. A lot of kids at my school always find my Instagram weird because all of them were just posting selfies and I was just posting random stuff that I like to take photos of, but photography is really fun for me. I made a professional photography account, which I'll link down below, where I'm actually going to be taking photos of people and I'm going to be open to hiring. So if people want to book me for like events or for self-portraits or for parties or anything like that, then I'll be able to do that. But obviously I just need to get some experience first before people can actually hire me and pay me. I'm really excited to pursue my passions this year. All three of them are kind of really difficult stuff to make money from, but they're the three things that bring me happiness and joy and I'm really focusing on trying to be happy. 
happy in 2018. My second New Year's resolution is to save money. Now this will probably be on a lot of your guys' lists is to spend less and save more. And I'm actually really, really good at saving. Like I've always been good at saving. I come from a quite a struggling family and I've kind of always known the value of money and had to learn really at a young age how to appreciate money and what it means and how it is to like not have much of it. So whenever I do get money, I'm always saving it because I always feel like a rainy day is just ahead and something's gonna happen to me, I'm gonna need it. Rarely do I ever make big purchases and when I do, I've been saving for a while. But my saving kind of got a bit slack once I got my second job. Just buying a lot of food during my lunch break really costing me a lot. I'm just gonna try to be bringing food from home and trying not to buy a lot of crap, especially when I go out and I just see something like a cute decoration, just to buy it for my apartment. And it's just not necessary because I just don't know what the future's gonna hold for me. I have aspirations of moving to Melbourne and in the future to moving to Los Angeles, which I know it's a pipe dream, but it's my pipe dream. <laughs> Saving's a big one for me. If you want me to make a video on that, then I will make one for you guys. Here's resolution number three is kind of a health related one but it's not so much to lose weight because I don't like to make resolutions like that especially now because I've been through a lot of eating disorder problems and if I focus too much on my weight and what I'm eating then that stuff kind of comes back and I start to get really unhealthy and ill again and I don't want that so I'm going to be focusing more on getting healthy and getting fit so I'm gonna be going for more runs and if I can go for three runs a week which is my goal for three months then I'll sign up to a gym and maybe these twig arms can finally get a little bit of muscle on them <laughs> getting healthy will be really good for me because I want to have a healthy fit looking body obviously it'll help with acting because as vain as it is you know your body is your instrument when it comes to acting like the outside is very important as well as your skill so I gotta make sure that I'm presentable. So yeah, I'm excited about that. New Year's resolution number four is to improve my mental health. Now, 2017, like I said, was a tough year. I've come out of a really bad depression and I'm trying to kind of stay happy and stay motivated and get out of bed in the morning, which I've been doing really well at with this new job. I'm just hoping that it kind of stays that way and my mental health is definitely a priority for me. I'm gonna be making sure that I'm happy and I'm motivated and I'm not overthinking stuff. And by doing this, I'm just gonna make sure that I'm going to my psychologist and not cancelling my appointments. I did that a lot in 2017. Mental health is just a big priority for me this year. I want to be happy and I want to get so much done this year and I'm so pumped but I just need to stay motivated and happy and just freaking kick depression in the freaking ass. I'll be making some mental health videos in the future as well because I know a lot of you probably struggle with it. We're all going through this together and we will make 2017 the best year that we possibly can. My fifth New Year's resolution is to be productive. This is so important to me. I feel like it did kind of come in with a depression last year I would just be kind of in bed doing nothing all day and then I get sad because I did nothing and it was like a vicious cycle and I would just watch Netflix all the time and too much YouTube and scroll through Instagram mindlessly and I'm done with that I'm gonna be getting so much done this year making some to-do lists planning out in my journal I have so many goals that I want to achieve this year I have the positive mindset that I will achieve my goals I will achieve my New Year's resolutions and by saying that I'm motivating myself and I'm going to make a plan in order to achieve them and I'm gonna be productive and if you want some videos on productivity and planning and goals and all that type of stuff, I'll make plenty of those in the future. And my sixth and final New Year's resolution is to love myself. I feel like I just spent so much of my life hating myself and hating the way I looked and hating the way I spoke and hating like the way I was and my mannerisms and stuff like that. It's been a journey, but I'm slowly learning to love myself. I'm not completely there, but I want to make sure that this year I'm really appreciating myself and not beating myself up over the little things and not letting other people treat me like crap because I want to be at that stage where I love myself too much to surround myself by people who bring me down. So I'll be making some videos on self-love and how to love yourself and how self-love can improve your life because it's not about vanity, it's about appreciating you are who you are and loving yourself because you only have this one life. You might as well make the most of it. Anyway guys, those are my six New Year's resolutions for 2018. I hope you enjoyed listening to them. I hope you find this kind of helpful as a way to kind of structure your New Year's resolutions. I really hope that 2018 is a great year for you guys. I really mean that. I made this channel to help people be happier and to improve their lives. So stick around, check out my videos, comment down below any videos that you would like to see on any of the topics that I've spoken about or just anything in general. If you did like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below what you thought of it and what your 2018 New Year's resolutions are. I really hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of Tea and Talk and remember to comment down below what type of topics you would like me to talk about in Tea and Talk. Well, that's it from me in this video, guys. I will see you in my next one and I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are in the world. Bye, you!